Hello viewers, welcome to Mad Tech. I am Amit Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve question form 12 to 15 of chapter 5 from the book Contemporary Abstract Algebra by Joseph Galen. So without a delay, let's start. Question number 12. Show that a function from a finite set S to itself is 1 to 1 if and only if it is on to. Is this true when S is infinite? Let S containing the element S1, S2 up to Sn means S contain the n elements and phi is 1 to 1 from S to S. We have to show that phi is on 2 since phi from S to S is 1 1. This implies phi of S1 up to phi of Sn are all distinct and all belongs to S. This implies phi of S is equal to S. Therefore, phi is on 2. Let phi is on 2. We have to show that phi is 1 1. Let if possible phi is not 1 1. This implies phi of si is equal to phi of sj for some i not equal to j. This implies phi of s has at most n minus 1 members which is contradiction as phi is on 2. Therefore our supposition is wrong and this implies phi is 1 1. The result is not true if s is infinite set. For example, the mapping from phi z to z such that phi of s equal to 2x is 1 to 1 but not on 2. Why it is so? Because the image of phi cannot be equal to z. Question number 13. Suppose that alpha is a mapping from a set s to itself and alpha of alpha of x equal to x for all x in s. Prove that alpha is 1 to 1 and on 2. Given a mapping alpha from s to s such that alpha of alpha of x is equal to x for all x in s. Let us assume that alpha of x1 equal to alpha of x2 where x1 comma x2 belongs to s. Now x1 which is further written as alpha of alpha of x1. Now substituting the value of alpha of x1 we get alpha of alpha of x2 which is equal to x2. This implies x1 equal to x2. This implies alpha is 1 1. Since for any s in s we have alpha of alpha s is equal to s. This implies phi is on 2. Question number 14. Find 8 element in S6 that commute with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Do they form a subgroup of S6? The following result is very useful to learn in order to solve the question. Result. The permutation sigma commute with the given permutation tau. If and only if the permutation sigma is same as the permutation tau or it is a rearrangement of permutation tau. Let tau is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 be the given permutation. Since i into tau is equal to tau into i where i is the identity permutation. 1, 2 into tau is equal to tau into 1, 2. We can easily check that the permutation is commutative. 3, 4 into tau is equal to tau into 3, 4. 5, 6 into tau is equal to tau into 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4 into tau is equal to tau into 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 4, 5, 6 tau is equal to tau into 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 5, 6 tau is equal to tau 1, 2, 5, 6. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tau is equal to tau into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 8 elements that come with, with tau are identity 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 5, 6 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These elements form a subgroup of S6. Why it is so? because the set made by these elements are closed under the function composition. Question number 15. Let n be a positive integer. If n is odd, is n cycle an odd and even permutation? If n is even, is n cycle an odd and even permutation? Given n be a positive integer. If n is odd, then n cycle is even. Why it is so? Because we can write it as a product of n minus 1, 2 cycles. By successfully pairing a first element of the cycle with the each of the other cycle. Elements starting from the last element of the cycle and working towards the front. By using the similar argument, if n is even, then n cycle is odd. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.